Hey guys, welcome to another playoff hype video. I am here again with Sad Boys, and I'm joined by Dat Damn Tater Tots and Mother Beep and Meow. Say hello, guys. Hey. Hi. So, as always, I absolutely hate wasting time, so we're going to jump right into the questions. Mostly it's just because I don't have filler words to talk about right now. So, um, How was your guys' last matchup in the playoffs? Let's talk about that Killer Whale Brigade ser series where I believe you guys won 2-0. Yep, we went 2-0 against KWB, and it felt like a really good series. It was a fun series to play, and, I mean, it's always good when you come out on top. Um, I honestly felt like we as a team kind of improved a lot. I mean, we all have analyzed and seen where we messed up, but as a team, it felt really good, um, especially because, like, they did their lovely little cheese at the beginning of the split. So being able to show that, like, we're not letting stuff like that bother us because everybody was all over the place, so. Okay, so did you guys feel like you guys overall performed as expected or would you guys have preferred the games to go a little differently? Kind of how was that? I think that they went about how we expected. Maybe felt like we could have ended game two, played game two a little bit better. It was much closer than game one. Um, but as a whole, I feel like the series went really well, and I feel like we definitely learned from game two. Okay. Um, I agree with that. Uh, we did really well in game two, or in game one and in game two, but like she said, it was a lot closer. Um, there was an instance, like, we, like, I know during the regular season, we struggled with, like, mess-ups, and, like, it kind of threw us off, but, like, we didn't let it happen this time around, and like game two is kind of like a nerve wracking, like, are we going to do, the, like, are we going to win? Are we going to like take them to three games? So. so in that second game, I want to talk about uh, one pick in particular that I've gotten brought up in both the other Iron Bronze Silver Golds uh, videos that I've done so far, which was the Galio top. So what was up with the drafting in that series in particular? <laughs> First of all, it's not Galio. Yeah, Fridge kind of just wanted to play something that wasn't Scion, and he's been playing, like, he'd been feeling Galio, and he didn't want to blind it, but it ended up he had to blind it anyway. Um, definitely hated the lane. Yeah, and it probably could have even been worse, because we were, I was talking about it with, actually, I believe it was Kaze in their draft, and we were talking about how if the Camille most likely went uh, Conqueror, it should have probably even beat the Galio even worse in the side lane. So it could have been a much bigger problem. Luckily, they didn't abuse that. Um, but I was just curious if you guys, if it was like a plan thing or if it was more just like, oh, pick me Galio. Uh, a little bit of both. A little bit of both. Okay. I mean, it's um, working out. I mean, can't complain too much, I guess. I, I do agree that if Camille had picked Conquer, then it would have been a very different game. I don't think the Comet was a smart choice into such a lane that she won so heavily. Yeah. Comet would be a safer choice into a matchup that she's more just trying to poke a little bit and just survive. Um, definitely not the the ability you want to go, or the mastery you want to go when you're trying to actually kill the opponent. Um, at least not like, especially when you can just straight up brawl with him level one. You're going you're gonna to win every trade, basically. But Fridge managed to survive for the most part. It got a little bit rough in the later game, but I mean, again, it wasn't his ult. too much. His ult. He, he was useful for his ult. You're just going to have to rein him in for the next series, because I don't think in Exile you'll be able to do stuff like that and get away with yeah, it. Yeah, just a little bit. Yeah, especially. So let's, uh, let's, that's a perfect transition. So we kind of talked a little bit about how you guys felt about the first series. And again, I don't think there's a ton to touch on, because I think you guys were better than KWB. Um, I think it kind of showed that you guys had better team fighting, especially in the second game, where like they maybe could have just... I think they should have won the game, but you guys just out-teamfighted them and out just outplayed them in, like... The, in the situations where it mattered and they could never figure, find a way to end the game before you guys just got items and scaled and enjoyable golem started popping off at the end well i mean the whole team did but in general you guys just i think play team fighters better than them for the most part first game was just dominant so you can't no, there's nothing really negative besides maybe a couple devs here and there but no big deal can play something that's not lex yay yeah. <laughs> um but let's go ahead and talk about your the most important thing for this video is your next matchup against exile uh, how are you guys feeling about that matchup coming in, and like how like how do you guys think you guys match up against them in particular? I'm excited. Um, I feel like it's going to be a really good series, a really hard-fought series. 
um because our tiebreaker game with them was fun <laughs> and um i know that zeph has done a bunch of prep work and uh win or lose we're going to be sharing that at the end of the split because <laughs> He and I, we are the two teams that do the most prep when it comes to pick and ban. So I'm interested to see how pick and ban goes because of that. I mean, personally, I'm excited to see like how we felt fair in a best of three over a best of one. Like the tiebreaker was a lot of fun and it was close at points. Um, but I feel like a best of three, like just is more it can be more draining, um, but you also see more tactics brought out. Um, they're, they're definitely a much harder team than KWB. No offense to you guys, but uh, Exiles, like, they've always given us a run for our money, especially, like, when they first lost the beginning of the split. They're not beginning, but... Um, and that was, like, a 40-50 minute game. So I'm kind of excited to see where this best of three, like, the series takes us. And... When I, like Kat said, or Mother said, sorry, um, when I lose, um, it's going to be a very good series, and we're both excited for it. The whole team is, actually. Yeah, I mean, I definitely think it's going to be a closely contested series. I don't think either team's going to win by a lot. Um, this one more so than, obviously, your guys' first game. Kind of sucked for KWB as well, since they had those two subs or whatever, so they were off roll, so they, I don't mm-hmm. think they really had a chance, especially winning a best of three, maybe getting one game, but... Um, this matchup in particular, um, I believe when I had I already did the video with AOL and they looked at this as being like a very close matchup between the two teams and they don't really know who's going to come out of it. Um, so let's look at like your in particular, since we have a little bit of time, let's look at your in- individual matchups, like uh, your top, your mid, your jung- or your jungle, and then bot lane. Where do you guys think you guys have the best advantage? Where do you guys think um, that their biggest strength is? Kind of identifying some of those things, because I don't think it gives too much strategy away, because I think some of this stuff's probably pretty obvious. Um, I feel like the bot lane matchups are pretty even. Silantis is a great ADC. Um, I feel like Sky is right up there with them. Uh, enjoyable Golem. But... Um, They always give us a run for our money. I feel like their support gamer is really talented as well. Um, I'm gonna not, I'm not gonna pick a winner in that one because I'm biased. Um, I think Tay wins the mid lane. That's just my personal opinion. Um, And I think Fridge can hold his own against Kaze. And then Pess is gonna do what he does. (laughs) Pess is gonna be Pess. Let's not talk about the Zed jungle, please. Um, so top, like, I think if we keep, like, Kaze's shown that he's very good with a few champions, whereas I feel like we all have a big enough pool. So I, I get, but they're very even. Um, it usually comes to team fights when the top laners start doing things. Um, junglers, I don't pay much attention to either of them. I feel really bad for saying that. Um, but they both put a lot of pressure on the map. They both impact it. Um, I can't say, like, mid, like, I can't say that we're, like, it's favored one over the other. Um, Nona and or Pornhub, because I love his old league name, um, <laughs> has always been really, like, he doesn't just, like, hand me the lane. He always gives me, a like, a run for my money, and I really, really like that. Um, him and AOL have been the two hardest laners for me. Um, and then by um, I'm gonna go with Cat on that one. Um, it's very even. Um, I feel like if we like Zylandis and Gamer have this great synergy as Cat and Sky do, and I like seeing how the bot lane matchup bears up because it's usually whoever gets ahead first off of whatever for whatever reason, usually the team that wins. So yeah, I think the so you guys think the mid lane in particular is where you guys maybe have your biggest strength as far as like in this matchup is concerned um and you kind of hope that fridge kind of contains kaze in the top lane because i think i would think that would be identified as exile's biggest strength but i agree with you yeah. guys in the sense that uh they are definitely like they definitely have a couple champions that they just they just excel on like that are by far like a tier above the others for them so i think they might be actually the most dependent on a couple champions both mid and top yeah because um, i think it definitely stops drops down a tier so i can kind of guess what the bands would be in that series um 
So we'll have to see if you guys can abuse that and see if their champ pools have gotten bigger since then because there has been a de de decent shift in the meta um, with this past week, in my opinion, um, especially with Scuttle Crab changing. I mean, that kind of changes yes. every role. So we'll see how well teams adapted and how well how much practice has gone in before this weekend because it kind of just happens to be where the semifinal week falls really quickly right behind it. So Yeah, I I have a feeling that EXE is going to be slightly more impacted by some of the nerfs on certain champions than our team will be. Yeah, I, So I mean, it'll I, be interesting to see how they cope with that. Yeah, personally, I love the way the game's moving because it almost fits perfectly to what my team wants to do. So um, I'm a pretty big fan of it. Uh, put a little bit more tanks on the map where we can play a super controlled style. That's perfect for me. Um, I think we're just happy about this too. To be yeah. fair, <laughs> that's our tank. That's our resident tank player. Shout out to Fridge there. Yeah, Fridge. Poor guy. Uh, he loves his uh, Scion. Uh, classic. Um, but anyway, so to wrap up this up, I want to hear you guys' predictions on the series. Where do, what do you guys think? Two zero, two one. I'm assuming you're guessing you will win. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and hear that before we wrap up. I'm gonna go with a two one us um, over exe just because I gotta give it to my own team, but I think it's gonna be really tight. Yeah, um, I'm gonna say two one. Actually, same for us um, with her as well as her. Um, like she said, it's gonna be a close game. Um, we've improved a lot since the last time we faced them in the tiebreaker, and I think getting to it's not gonna be it's not gonna be a very easily won series from either team. So. So we got two two one predictions. Going to be a close one. Uh, I definitely think it's, it should be a spicy one. I hope we have lots of viewership this weekend because I think almost every single game is going to be pretty good. Um, so all around, looking forward to it this weekend. Well, thank you guys so much for taking the time to join me. Uh, make sure you guys catch their game. I believe you guys play a Sunday at six. Saturday. Saturday at six. Sorry about that. I meant to say that. Close enough. Close yeah, enough. It's one of those days. All right, guys. Well. Make sure to tune into all the other hype videos, and I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.